Hi everyone, Beerbeard here with my first ever YouTube video and my introduction to the YouTube pipe community. I am smoking my Pearwood Mr. Brog Amigo and in it I've got some quite appropriately Dunhill London mixture. Appropriate because I'm in London in the UK, that's where I'm speaking to you from. I've been putting off doing this for quite a while. I think most of you will understand and appreciate that the first step or taking that first step is uh, probably the hardest one of all. So I've been making excuses for not doing it, always finding some reason. But decided to take the plunge a few days ago. And um, as it's uh, a bit cold outside and uh, I'm not quite ready yet to stand out in my back garden talking to myself, if there's ever a good time for that, I don't know, um, I wanted to film inside and soon found out that one thing with my pretty ancient old camcorder is that light is the key to a good result. And I tried shooting some footage and it came out really, really grainy and dark. I mean, I looked like uh, some suspect being filmed in an undercover sting operation. It was quite peculiar. But I think I found a solution. So who knows? I'm hoping this is turning out OK. Um, I think the next obstacle I faced was once I'd found the lighting solution, I shot some test footage and played it back on my laptop and had a look at it. That was a bit of an eye-opener. I think the first thing I had to ask myself was, do you really want to put that face on the internet? And while we're at it, what's with your voice? Do you always sound it like that? So I did a bit of soul searching and then I thought about it and I thought you're a bald old guy with a beard smoking a pipe you're not entering a beauty contest so just go for it and so here I am I'm relatively new to pipe smoking it's only been a few months now um, it's not my first attempt. I tried a few years ago. I didn't, I mean, this was about four or five years ago. I probably didn't do enough research, I have to say. I mean, my idea of pipe smoking was you bought a pipe, you put tobacco in it, you set light to it. That was it. I did enough research to sort of find out that a corncob pipe was a good pipe for a beginner, as indeed it is. But perhaps not all corncob pipes are created equal, as I subsequently found out. You see, I bought these. Missouri Meerschaum Mizzou's. They're nice, nice little pipes. They're good for a quick smoke. Nothing wrong with them at all. But they have a very narrow chamber. Which, for somebody who's um, not really that clued up on how to pack a pipe, can present a problem, as I was to find out. Like many newbies, I went off and bought myself a, a nice sticky cherry aromatic. It smelled fantastic. It smelled like you should put custard on it and eat it. And moist, I mean, this stuff was juicy which I thought, in my ignorance, because I hadn't done enough research, was a good sign. I mean, who wants to smoke dry tobacco, I thought. So, I've got my Mizu, and I've got my nice, gloopy, sticky aromatic, and straight from the pouch, packed it in there. Packed it in nice and tight, because no one wants tobacco falling out of their pipe, do they? And then I lit it, and I sucked, and I lit it, and I sucked, 
and I lit it and I sucked that ear. This went on and on and on. I was sucking so hard I'm surprised my eardrums didn't explode. And end result, sort of long story short, I cooked my mouth. I cooked it in a mixture of hot smoke and scalding steam. I couldn't taste anything for days afterwards. It was very, very unpleasant. So I've just noticed it looks like I've got a star growing out of the top of my head. This is live. <laughs> this is coming to you in real time, as it were. No editing. Um, yeah, I cooked my mouth really bad. It was very, very unpleasant. And that put me off the whole thing. I shelved it for several years. And then a few months ago, I was watching a YouTube video on a totally, it wasn't pipe related at all, but the guy happened to be smoking a pipe. And I looked at it and it reminded me of all the things that attracted me to the thought of pipe smoking in the first place. It just looked so relaxing, so unhurried. So peaceful and contemplative, I think, is the way I put it. And I decided to try again. But this time I really did my homework. Thanks to you people, all you people out there in the YouTube pipe community that have given up your time to put out there and share your knowledge and experience. Big, big help to a new person like me. An enormous amount of help. Can't, can't, can't really put that too strongly. I bought myself um, another cop. I've got a country gentleman this time. Much bigger bowl, more room for playing around with the packing. I learned about um, moisture levels, testing the moisture level in tobacco, making sure it's not too wet, not too dry, leaving it out to dry if the stuff is too wet. I learned important things like if the bowl of your pipe is so hot you can't hold it in your hand, stop sucking and put it down. Perhaps something that would have stood me in good stead the first time around. And here I am, months in, I'm still sticking at it and um, enjoying it very, very much. Now, despite the fact that I live in the capital city of the UK, there are no tobacconists within miles of me. I would have to travel up to the centre of the city to get anywhere that actually remotely approached the description of a tobacconist, what you call in the States a brick and mortar. We've restricted around here in, in sort of outside the centre to um, over the counter. You might get three or four over the counter blends, that's it. Excuse me. So I do all my shopping online and um, unfortunately I found a couple of places where you can buy samples, you can buy 10 gram, 12 and a half gram samples, which means I can try lots of different stuff without investing in a 50 gram tin, which at the price charged here in the UK, you know, with our ridiculous tax laws, is not something a newbie wants to do, to spend a 14 pound something on a 50 gram tin that you might not even like. So buying these samples has enabled me to try aromatics, English blends, orientals, over-the-counters, Lakelands, vapours, Stoke Virginias, the whole lot. And it's been a fascinating experience. There's nothing quite like that first time you open a new tobacco, a new different one to try for the first time. And trying them in different pipes. I wouldn't say I've had any sort of eureka moments yet. Because I have noticed sometimes I'll 
smoke a bowl and really like it. And then I'll smoke another bowl of it the next day and think, what was it about it that you thought was so special? But I think that's all part of the experience. And I'm really enjoying doing it. Really enjoying doing it. And intend to stick at it. Well, I think I've probably rambled on long enough for my first video. Um, I really just wanted also to say not only a, a thanks in general to the YouTube pipe community because I've watched so many videos and I sub to loads and loads of people. I can't possibly mention you all here. Um, but I would like to just give a special thanks to just a few people who I found particularly helpful. And here in the UK there's Token Tommy that comes at us from Halifax in West Yorkshire. And there's Pip down in the south, the Pip's Piper Practices. Um, over in the States, once again, loads and loads of people that I watch and sub to. Um, is the near legendary Matches 860. Um, Northwest Pipe Smoker, Hillman, Eddie Gray at thepipenook.com. Um, Scott at Aristocob, of course, fantastic site, that fantastic channel. Um, Grandpa Cavendish, many, many, many more. I can't possibly name all of them. But I want to say thank you to everyone, all those I have named and all those I haven't. And I do apologise for that star sticking out the top of my head. It's um, really been quite distracting to me as well, all the way through. I'll have to do something about that in the next video. Or perhaps if anyone watches this and comments and says they like it, I might even make it a feature. Oh, there you go. Anyway, if you have watched this and stuck with it all the way through, I want to thank you very, very much indeed. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope to speak to you again at some point fairly soon. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.